Let's take a look at Inventor opening up a CATIA surface model and making some changes to this geometry. In this case, you can see that there is a repair environment we can use now to help heal any potential problems with geometry that could be problematic. So let's go ahead and just see if we can find any errors with this. It looks like it, it did contain some problem. Looks like there's a edge with uh, maybe a precision issue or something like that. So let's go ahead and just see if we can automatically heal that. Okay. All right, so now that we've got that model brought in Inventor and it's been validated that it's good to continue working with. If we want to use this for other purposes, maybe we need to modify this, make copies of this. Maybe it's a uh, progressive die type part that needs to be undeveloped. An easier way to do that may be to use Inventor Fusion. So before I do that, let's just copy this so it is actually copied into its own set of surfaces. There we go. Now we've got multiple pieces to that that are individual surfaces. Some of those would be essentially in a real component here, would be welded on. There's the main body of the surface. Let's take that and edit that form. All right, so there is our model inside of Inventor Fusion. And as an example, maybe we just want to make some surface modeling changes to this. As an example, do a little bit of cleanup here. Maybe we will uh, remove this indented area right here. So as an example, let's go ahead and select these multiple surfaces and get rid of those. And let's just build ourselves some new geometry here with the surface modeling tools in Fusion. So we'll just make a patch out of that. Let's, uh, let's make sure we got another line here I want to work with because I'm going to do a loft and I want that to be essentially a, a rail. Okay, so in my loft I don't need to chain edges. I just want to grab that edge. It's going to go to this edge and I will tell it to use that center line we just defined. And there may be nice continuous curvature on these adjoining faces. So what we will do is to turn on some continuity here. And I'll turn on a G2 type continuity leading into these different profiles here. Just like that there. Looks like that one it happens to be backwards. So let's reverse the normal on that face. And finally, stitch it back to the rest of the model. So there we have it. Nice cleaned up region on that model. And when we're done, if you still want to build your tooling and so on around a component like that in Inventor, we can simply send it back and you can see from our surface here the cleaned up area. So thanks for joining us today on this edition of the Tata Technologies CAD Geek blog.